on. It's Tuesday now, and we're gonna do our solar panels. So we're just opening them to make sure they're not smashed. And then we're gonna go to Screwfix and get all the little bits and bobs we need. Let's have a look. They are the 100 watt, the glass ones, the multi something. Mm. Do you remember? No. Nose is running. For England. For England. Right, what are we doing? We are doing. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> I'm washing the roof of the van purely because we don't know how much weight we can put on here, and I'm the lightest out of the two of us. Oh, oh, okay. What are you saying? I'm a fat boy, huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, you can see a lot of difference already. Like this is the dirty side that hasn't been done yet. It just needs to be really clean so that the solar panels that's a clean side. can go on as best as possible. Yeah. So to clean the roof, I firstly used a broom to sweep any dirt and water that collected up there. Then I used a car wash sponge and some car shampoo to clean the surface of any dirt, grease or grime that would ultimately prevent the solar panel from sticking on properly. I then dried it off with a couple of towels. Then it was time to attach the ABS plastic solar panel brackets to our solar panels. We've linked the exact ones we've used in the PDF file which you can find in the description. Originally we were going to screw them on with nuts and bolts we bought from Screwfix, but the nut was too thick for the drill bit we had. So in the end we used our trusty easy drive screws, which we use for everything. So for each bracket we just drilled into the plastic, whilst it was on the solar panel to create an indentation to align the easy drive screw. Then we simply screwed the easy drives in all the way through the plastic and metal. How are you feeling? So over it. You're over it? Yeah. It's knackering isn't it? Yeah. Like, it looks so easy when other people do it. But once we got them in, they look nice. Yeah. And they're not moving anywhere. Look, Nick, try to pull it off. Yeah, oh my god, they're literally like so stable. Later that day, although it was getting dark, we still wanted to get stuff done. So Harry went to the top of the van to drill a hole in the roof, which would allow the positive and negative wires from the solar panel to come into the van and eventually be attached to our MPPT solar panel charger. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I made two holes with a large drill bit and then later went in with this drill hole attachment. And to protect the wires from getting cut by the metal, we used a large rubber grommet, which we cut smaller to fit the hole perfectly. What are you doing? Uh. What are you doing? Right guys, so what we've done Babe. is we've made a hole. <laughs> <Babe>. <laughs> We've made a hole using uh, what we'll show you on the screen now. And then we've also, we've put in... Shut what? up! I'm trying to talk to the camera, why are you laughing? We've got, um, we've used our hammerite rust paint, which will pop up on the screen for you now. And we've just filled the hole with that, just to make sure no rust forms. And what we're doing now is, uh, we're both on the ladder together, and... Uh... <laughs> right, I'll go back. Okay, and Nick is drying the top. No, Harry. <laughs> right, we just got inside, guys. Um, we've ended up calling it a day on the uh, trying to climb on the roof at night. Yeah. Mainly because the Sycaflex that we've got, it says it needs to be at 12 degrees or something to work. Mm. And obviously, out there right now, it's like zero degrees. The van is just wet on top, icy on top. So we dried it with a towel, we tried everything, and we tried it with a hot flannel, then dried it. It was still wet. So we decided to call yeah. it a day in the end. So see you tomorrow when we wake up. See you tomorrow. Poosh. So, at this convenient intermission, it seems that 61% of you aren't subscribed. So if you're feeling generous, hit that subscription button. So guys, it's the next day. We just got back from Wix, which we'll probably show you a clip of now. <laughs> right. We didn't have everything we wanted. But yeah, our plan today is it's been raining quite a lot overnight, but there's a bit of a break in the rain now, so we're just going to get out, try and get the solar panels done today, because then we can get on with our cladding. Yeah. And if we don't do it today, then it's probably going to be a whole nother week, because it's due to rain for the next week. So, let's do it. Let's get to it. So back up to the roof of the van we went. Starting by drying the roof again, we then took the first solar panel to the roof, drew around the corner brackets with a pencil to mark where they would sit, and then squeezed Sikaflex 512 over this area. 
we were advised to make a 3mm Sikifex bed for the solar panel to sit on to allow for enough adhesive for it to completely secure the panels to the roof. Then we got the next panel up onto the roof and connected the positive wire of the one panel to the negative of the other before securing the second panel down. Then we did the same process for the second panel. It then decided to rain, so we had to cover up our masterpiece with tarpaulin and towels. Right guys, it's Wednesday today, as you can see it's raining, so we're going to do a lot of work inside the van today, and we're going to get on with our roof cladding after we fitted our solar panels yesterday. So now we can get on with it, because we've got our wires trailing down there, so... We're just going to smash on with some roof cladding today, I think, which is exciting. Yay! So... Let's go. The cladding we're using is a tongue and groove cladding, which is 8 by 94 millimetres, and it's a softwood timber from Wix. Then we got on with drilling holes into our central cladding piece, ready for the lights to be fitted. A little tip for doing this is to start making an incision with the drill until about halfway through the wood. Then turn the wood over and do the same on the other side until it meets in the middle. This allows for a smoother hole to be made and avoid splitting the wood. So we started with the centre piece of the cladding and worked our way to the right. We found the tongue and groove quite difficult to fit together, so we found sliding technique worked the best. To secure the cladding in place, we used some Spax 16mm countersunk screws. <gasps> so fun! <laughs> best day of your life! I love it! Right. Next one. We made sure to thread our light wiring into our light holes before putting the cladding in, so everything was in place, ready for it to all be connected. We also did this with string, just in case we forgot to thread any extra wires. The following day, we sanded the ceiling cladding. Then we applied one coat of Ron Seal natural oak wood stain. We still need to do one or two more coats, along with the varnish seal. But this is all the work we can fit in this week. So we hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you want to follow our progress more closely, follow our Instagram at The, the Van Vicious Project. Project. See you next week.